Hi everyone, Leonard Ulrich here with a quick video response to a question that I've been deluged with, which is, what about Donald Trump? Is he controlled opposition? Where did he come from? What's his real agenda? My source for answering that question is rather unusual. It comes from a card game by Steve Jackson Games, and the most important things you need to know about it are that the game itself was copyright 1994, 1995 on the box, and the uh, game itself is associated with the Secret Service and with George H.W. Bush. <laughs> I think it's kind of obvious that these cards can portend the future in some degree. I think you're intelligent enough to know what is going on when you see it. What about Donald Trump? Well, when I saw this, I was floored. You see, Donald Trump, as far as the New World Order is concerned, is not specifically named by the cards, but certainly fills the role of a charismatic leader that was expected by the New World Order to arise as a result of what the New World Order is doing to America. And that's not just my opinion, that is the opinion of insiders like Newt Gingrich. Uh, and now they're faced with a very real prospect of Donald Trump becoming the leader of the party, and it absolutely drives them crazy. Uh, they just cannot Why? imagine sharing. Well, because he's an outsider. He's not them. He's not part of the club. He's uncontrollable. Uh, you know, he hasn't been through the initiation rights. He didn't belong to the secret society. Again, we see Donald Trump emerging as a reaction to the New World Order actions on America. And it is very significant that Donald Trump's face or a face of someone like Donald Trump should be etched or drawn in purple. Because as soon as I saw this, which is Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton's matching outfits, I knew that something was up. Secretary Clinton's choice of purple reflected her message of unity following her unexpected and painful defeat. Many observers on social media acknowledged the symbolism of purple as a mixture of blue and red, the colors of the Democratic and Republican parties. So in terms of the Hegelian dialectic, you've got thesis, which is blue. You've got antithesis, which is red. And you now you have synthesis which is purple. A color revolution is now underway in America. Well, we see black activists having a role in the New World Order. The New World Order cards are, uh, without exception, in interested in smashing the state. In case you doubt that, the Washington Times said, Black Lives Matter cashes in with $100 million from liberal foundations. And the key line in that article is that funding comes in addition to more than $33 million in grants to the Black Lives Matter movement from top Democratic Party donor George Soros through his Open Society Foundations, as well as grant making from the Center for American Progress. So George Soros's fingerprints are all over the Purple Revolution, which is now underway in America. You can earn $15 to $22 an hour uh, according to the Seattle Craigslist ad, which you're now seeing, by just simply protesting against Trump. So in conclusion, Donald Trump is an anticipated yet independent reaction to the globalist programs in the USA. Donald Trump is not a pastor. He's a politician. He's going to do things which disappoint you. He's going to do things which are against biblical values. God is able to use deeply flawed people like Moses and David who were murderers, but like Moses and David, God can use them and Donald Trump to do his will and pray for God to influence Donald Trump. And finally, there is no political solution to a spiritual problem. Pray that we would get smarter and more active in terms of our involvement in the political process instead of just simply saying, God will work it all out.